Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. In Saskatchewan, Canada, on September 4, 2022, a mass stabbing occurred in 13 locations, on the James Smith Cree Nation and in Weldon. Tragically, 11 people were killed and 19 others injured. Police were looking for two suspects in the killing spree, brothers Damien Sanderson, age 31, and Miles Sanderson, age 30. On September 5th, Damien was found dead with multiple wounds and on September 7th, Miles was arrested in Rosthern, Saskatchewan, he died in custody. The Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Prince Albert, Stephen Hero, released a statement. He said, Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, We have all been deeply shocked and saddened at the horrific acts of violence that took place at James Smith Cree Nation and the village of Weldon on Sunday. I have written to the Prince Albert Grand Council, the chief of James Smith Cree Nation, and to the mayor of the village of Weldon to express the solidarity, prayers, and support of the people of our diocese in the face of this tragedy. Please keep in your prayers the victims and families who have been touched by this senseless violence and who are now grieving and struggling to cope with the loss of their loved ones. The work of the RCMP and first responders has been heroic. As people of Saskatchewan, we express our profound gratitude to them for their efforts to keep us safe even at the risk or, sometimes, loss of their own life in the line of duty. We pray for their own needs and that of their families too. A sacred ciborium with the Holy Eucharist was stolen from the Primate Cathedral of Columbia. The ciborium was stolen from the Primate Cathedral of Columbia. The Archdiocese of Bogota, through Father Gonzalo Marin Garcia, parish priest of the Primate Cathedral of Columbia, issued a statement confirming the theft of a ciborium where the Eucharist is reserved. The Archdiocese of Bogota is allowed to inform the general public that in recent days a small ciborium where the Eucharist is reserved and is for daily use was stolen from the Holy Eucharist of the Cathedral. The theft was reported to the authorities to investigate. 7,000 people attended the United Kingdom's annual Pro-Life March for Life in London with many youth and the support of the Catholic bishops. A record number of people gathered in London for the annual UK March for Life, organizers have reported. According to police estimates the event attracted 7,000 supporters for the march which ended with a gathering in Parliament Square. Record numbers took part in this year's March for Life UK which was held in central London on Saturday 3 September. Madeline Page, CEO of the Alliance of Pro-Life Students, said we've seen a steady increase in the amount of young people wanting to take part in pro-life events since the news from America, Many of these are stepping out for the first time and feel that since this issue is being talked about more, it's now acceptable to disclose their beliefs. One of the keynote speakers at this year's event was Sean Carney, founder and CEO of 40 Days for Life, the largest international pro-life organization in the world. Numerous UK speakers stood alongside Sean Carney. The theme, for this year's march was 10 million too many. Those in attendance included some with no religious beliefs and various Christian denominations including three Catholic bishops who all spoke at the event. The event was supported by pro-life organizations from across the UK. An Italian Catholic nun was killed in a devastating terrorist attack at a mission in Mozambique, Africa. Sister Maria de Capi was killed in a terrorist attack in Chipping, Mozambique, on September 7, 2022. Her religious order, the Comoni Missionary Sisters, released a statement on September 8. The order said the terrorists raided the mission, killed De Copy, and set fire to Mission's church, the nuns' homes, the hospital and its equipment. Another Catholic institution, the Centro Missionario Concordia Porte Nane, said two priests serving at the mission, Loris Vignandel and Lorenzo Barro, had managed to get away too. They entered the house of the Comoni Missionary Sisters, killed a sister, Maria de Capi, an Italian, destroyed and set fire to the church, the house of the sisters, the hospital and the mission machines. The other two sisters of the community, Sister Eleonora Riboldi, an Italian and Sister Angelus Lopez Hernandez, Spanish, managed to escape and hide in the forest, together with a group of young girls. 
Queen Elizabeth II has died at age 96, peacefully at Balmoral Castle. Pope Francis and bishops of the United Kingdom sent condolences. Buckingham Palace confirmed that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, died on Thursday, September 8, 2022, at the age of 96. She was Britain's longest reigning monarch. Queen Elizabeth met five popes. A statement from Buckingham Palace said, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. The Queen's full name at birth, on the 21st of April 1926, was Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. She was Queen of the United Kingdom from 1952 until her death in 2022. Her reign of 70 years and 214 days was the longest of any British monarch. Elizabeth was born in Mayfair, London, as the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI, and Queen Elizabeth. Her father became king in 1936 upon the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII. She assumed public duties during the Second World War, serving in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. In November 1947, she married Philip Mountbatten, a former Prince of Greece and Denmark, and their marriage lasted 73 years until his death in April 2021. They had four children together, Charles III, Anne, Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. The Queen is survived by her four children, eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren. Pope Francis sent the following telegram. To His Majesty the King Charles III. Deeply saddened to learn of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, I offer heartfelt condolences to Your Majesty, the members of the Royal Family, the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. I willingly join all who mourn her loss in praying for the late Queen's eternal rest, and in paying tribute to her life of unstinting service to the good of the nation and the Commonwealth, her example of devotion to duty, her steadfast witness of faith in Jesus Christ and her firm hope in His promises. Commending her noble soul to the merciful goodness of our Heavenly Father, I assure Your Majesty of my prayers that Almighty God will sustain you with His unfailing grace as you now take up your high responsibilities as King. Upon you and all who cherish the memory of your late mother, I invoke an abundance of divine blessings as a pledge of comfort and strength in the Lord. The Bishops' Conference of England and Wales released a statement by Cardinal Vincent Nichols, Archbishop of Westminster. Even in my sorrow, shared with so many around the world, I am filled with an immense sense of gratitude for the gift to the world that has been the life of Queen Elizabeth II. At this time, we pray for the repose of the soul of Her Majesty. We do so with confidence, because the Christian faith marked every day of her life and activity. In her Millennium Christmas message, she said, To many of us, our beliefs are of fundamental importance. For me the teachings of Christ and my own personal accountability before God provide a framework in which I try to lead my life. I, like so many of you, have drawn great comfort in difficult times from Christ's words and example. May she now rest in peace. We pray for His Majesty the King, as he assumes his new office even as he mourns his mother. God save the King. Watch our program every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.